spoke with some tutors from Mumbai. Are you from Mumbai? I think. Yes. Yeah, you are from Mumbai. Yes. Uh, so she told me that she came here and visited those places. Oh, nice. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, how do I pronounce your name? My name is Subhash. Subhash. Okay. Yes. Subhash, sir. My name is Prerna. I am from Mumbai. Okay. And this is Subhash Pal from Guwahati, from the state of Assam. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, I tried to open the notes. They are not opening by some. Uh, do you know what the topic is? No, no. Actually, I don't get any notes anymore. Oh. Yes. Because because you've uh, like you've done certain session number of sessions, so you don't get notes, is it? Yeah. Okay. So tell me, Subhash sir, what do you do for a living? Yeah, I uh, work in a government office here in Guwahati. It is Indian Audit and Accounts Department. And what are your plans after retirement? <clears throat> After retirement, uh, this will continue because I want to speak good English. So I will continue to speak with the tutors and with some people who speak in English. Mm -hmm. That will be there. Other than that, I have a plan to uh, invest in stock market, mm -hmm. uh, invest plus trading. So this other thing and traveling. I love to travel mm -hmm. so at least once in once or twice in a year. I would like to visit some places of interest after mm -hmm. retirement. Nice, nice. And um, uh, which is your next destination where you want to travel to? <clears throat> uh, I haven't uh, actually um, thought about this, but it may be uh, Ladakh or some places in Gujarat, maybe. Okay, okay. interesting. And uh, in your entire career, if you have to um, suggest the next generation about this job, what are the good points and what are the bad points of this job, which you do? Uh, good points is that it's a very uh, secure job. You can do the job without any fear of or any pressure uh, nowadays. You know, in every job, there is so much pressure and sometimes people break down under pressure mm. and look for another job. So mm. this is what that one would like to do, this kind of job. But those who uh, people who are, you know, the kind of dynamic people, they always look for some challenging jobs. So it is not uh, for them. Mm. So they would find it very boring, actually. Mm. So this depends on the people how they like to do. Mm. So and you you did not find this boring. <laughs> I have already completed so yeah. I just pull, I was pulling up and I never thought I thought that okay it's going smoothly let it go. I actually I am not a kind of person very adventurous or ambitious also. That's what uh, pull me back that I never thought that I would do something else exciting. No, I never thought like that. Right, right. Okay. And uh, um, since I'm meeting you for the first time, can you tell me um, what's Guwahati famous for? Guwahati, uh, the only thing comes my comes to my mind whenever somebody asks me about Guwahati, the first thing I would tell about uh, Guwahati is that there is a Temple called uh, this Kamakha Temple is very famous. So, whoever comes to Guwahati, they may uh, visit this temple. It's uh, very famous. Even the celebrities when they do come for any purpose in Guwahati, so they always make it a point to visit the temple. And other than that, it's uh, there are some natural beauties are also there. We have a zoo here. We have a ropeway of our mighty Brahmaputra and other uh, temples also, other than Kamakha temple. So there are so many places, yeah. If 
somebody who want to visit it's a nice place not only in guwahati because adjacent to guwahati there are some other places like say in assam that guwahati is in assam so in assam there is a reserve forest called kajiranga so it's a famous one for one horn rhino even tigers are also there so people from uh, foreign countries also visit here this uh, kajiranga reserve forest Okay, you've never been there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And what is the uh, language which people use there in Guwahati? Assamese? Actually, it's local language is Assamese. So mm. most of the people speak in Assamese. And mm. after that, uh, Hindi. Mm. Some people are there like me, speak Bengali also. Mm-hmm. And English. So all mm. these four languages are common here. Hmm. Right, right. And in schools, they teach Assamese as a second yes. language. Yeah, yeah. They teach Assamese. Hmm. Nice, nice. Okay. I have never been to Northeast, so I have no idea about it. Ah, uh, you should visit once in your lifetime because there are so many places you can visit in the Northeast. Like Meghalaya is a very beautiful state. There are so many places. Ah, uh, like this. Uh, Cherapunji, you might have heard about Cherapunji, the highest mm-hmm. rainfall that rainfall. we receive in that place. And there is a border point with Bangladesh that is called okay. Dauki, uh, that is also in Meghalaya. And in Arunachal Pradesh also, there are so many places like Tawang, that's a very beautiful place. So who comes here, they like to visit those places. Mm-hmm. Even earlier also, um, when I spoke with some tutors from Mumbai, are you from Mumbai, I think? Yes. Yeah, you are from Mumbai? Yes. Uh, so, she told me that uh, she came here and visited those places. Oh, right. Mm-hmm. Good. Mm-hmm. I have not... So, visited. you tell me, uh, ma'am, you tell me about something yourself. Uh, I have been uh, in the education sector since mm. uh, the past 10 years um, mm. and I have got, gotten the opportunity to uh, teach in NGOs, teach in low income schools, high income schools. I have uh, worked in ed tech companies. I think this is my fourth company, uh, ed tech company, which I'm working in. Um, and yeah, I've also designed uh, English textbooks out of storybooks as a freelancer. So I have, I have, yeah, I've enjoyed my work so far. In okay. Of 10 that years. is the main thing that one should get job satisfaction from what they do. So yeah. you like your job. That's great. Yeah. And you were born and brought up uh, in Mumbai. I am born and brought up in Mumbai. Um, uh, for three years, I um, got a chance to work in Ahmedabad in a school called Riverside. Um, and then after COVID happened, I had to come back. So then I came back to Mumbai. Um, I started my career with an NGO um, and its name is the Akansha Foundation. There's another NGO which I got selected in, and that's called Teach for India Foundation. So a lot of Teach for India fellows come to Northeast to volunteer in the summer schools. Okay. So Northeast has a lot of summer schools, and everybody comes in the summer vacation to volunteer, Mm -hmm. mostly in May. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so what about your city do you like to live in uh, mumbai you love it i love it yes okay. it's a cosmopolitan city you you name any religion you name any person from any caste everyone's treated the same way um it's one of the safest cities uh, a person can stay in live in and um, and yeah you can enjoy uh, summer you can enjoy rainy season you can enjoy winter season also it's not so cold in winters at all but i think we should avoid in july uh too much of rain too much of <laughs> rain yes yeah. but um, yeah because we are used to it we are okay with that okay and it's costly also no ma'am mumbai yes, yes. it's, it's uh, yeah. very costly it's very costly yeah. 
once i visited that was way back in 2006 uh, mm-hmm. that was in the month of june mm-hmm. and i visited some places and uh, you know uh, after visiting mumbai at the time when we came back mm-hmm. uh, we visited in june mm-hmm. and in the next month that is uh, in july uh, seven blast i think happened in mm-hmm. trains local trains so i was thinking oh my god i just few days back i traveled mm. this local train it happened after came back mm, very fortunate mm. yeah mm. so i i actually uh, i uh, uh, traveled by local trains just for fun because mm. i had seen so many times uh, in hindi movies this local trains and i mm. had a uh, wish to Uh, ride on those trains so yeah for that only i But, went from shivaji chatrapati it is called shivaji chatrapati uh, cst yes yes uh, chatrapati shivaji yes chatrapati yeah. earlier it was victoria memorial i think yes yes victoria terminal yeah. victoria terminal area yeah. from there i went to this place called andheri mm-hmm. where these film studios are uh, the place uh, most of the film in goregaon and andheri gorega 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 mm-hmm. yeah yeah <laughs> so i had a passion uh, about this hindi movies and when i was young so i had seen so many movies or hindi movies so i had a dream to go to mumbai so i thought that one day i would go to mumbai to see them <laughs> so oh. it was like a dream at that time when i was young but it is no more so uh, then i thought okay let's see if i can see somebody there in goregaon there are so many studios i just came and came back from there yeah i just went there and came back okay. did you see anyone no no i did not see a uh, new one i just move around because i did not have anybody to guide me i just uh, went there and thought that might be someone there and I just saw only one studio while going there. Mm, that was film, Filmistan Studio. Ah, Filmistan. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And there, I did one day look at uh, local sightseeing by a bus. Mm. So uh, during that one, uh, we were shown Amitabh Bachchan's one bungalow, uh, yeah, bungalow and another this Manat of Shahrukh Khan. Khan. Mm. <laughs> those we see from outside right right so you went in the mumbai darshan bus yes yes okay yeah mm-hmm. and where were you uh, staying here uh in a hotel first time we nearby this uh, railway station this chhatrapati shivaji okay. chhatrapati time so there was a uh call calcutta lodge i think calcutta okay. lodge hmm. uh, next time uh, from there we went to uh, goa and after coming from goa we stayed in the dadar in a hotel in dadar dadar okay hmm. nice and you traveled in local trains you didn't uh, find them very tedious and dangerous no no uh, yeah yeah while coming back from there this is uh, gorega that was a very harrowing experience for me because i never thought that people would be in large number because when i uh, went there it was uh, during say mid uh, day 12 o'clock yeah. 12 or 1 o'clock like mm. that so at the mm. time almost empty the uh, mm. compartments yeah. mm. but while i mean i did not have any idea and i just when i started to get in the train i found it very difficult to get in because there are large number of there crowd were mm-hmm. there so for a moment i was very uh, afraid also because how mm-hmm. can i manage to reach my destination and even i did not tell them my family were there they were in the hotel i did not tell them i was coming here mm-hmm. and uh, even at the time we are not carrying a mobile phone also Right, right. But somehow I could manage. And what happened that uh, I uh, suddenly um, got into a compartment. I found it a bit empty. So up, uh, then one told me that this is a first class compartment. You cannot. 
travel with the with simply a ticket ordinary ticket mm-hmm. so then again i came down from that and went to another mm-hmm. yeah and uh, the while while going back to chatrapati shivaji terminus it was very crowded 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 yeah it was around 5:30 or 6 in the evening it was very crowded mm-hmm. right and uh, you traveled just by yourself you didn't tell your family members at all yeah just for my myself i had an interest to travel because i as i told you i seen so many times mm. in movies in india uh, has there been any place which you always remember that you that you always cherish that place moments of that place yeah like uh, yeah there are so many places like uh kanakumari is one rameshwaram then srinagar andaman mm-hmm. and nikobar mm-hmm. island yeah there are so many so you have traveled almost almost in many uh, places yeah yeah right? many places yes mm-hmm. wow nice every year you used to travel not every year say after 3 4 years uh but eventually last year also i went last year i went to this uh, andaman and nicobar island and this mm-hmm. this year also i travel and it was in rajasthan so it okay. was back to back in in one year earlier say 3 4 years gap okay okay mm-hmm.